habari karibu tena kwenye events recap segment ya Achieve Finance TZ na mimi ni Mrs Finance naitwa Amina Ramadhani Haigai sasa session ya Clubhouse ambayo nilikuwa nimealikwa na dada Ana ilikuwa inataka tuzungumzie uwekezaji wa pamoja ama uwekezaji wa vikundi ambako wengine wanaziita investment clubs umeelewa eh asa investment clubs ni nini investment clubs hizi ni ni clubs kwa maana ya kwamba ni watu ambao wanaamua kuja pamoja inawezekana ikawa ni watu waliosoma pamoja kama ni chuo sekondari ama primary kama bado wako in touch inawezekana ni watu ambao ni majirani wanakaa karibu wanakaa sehemu ya karibu inawezekana ni watu ambao hawakai karibu lakini origin yao wametokea kijiji kimoja vivyote vile lakini ya watu watakuwa wana common uh, wana common binding factor inao kama ni wamesoma ni marafiki wamekutana kazini wamekutana wapi vivyote vile hao watu wanaamua kuja pamoja na kuanzisha umoja ambao huo umoja unakwenda kufanya uwekezaji kwa hiyo ule umoja ndio unaitwa investment club na investment club ili iweze kufanikiwa inabidi iwe legally binding. Kwa hiyo ina maana iende ikasajiliwe na iundwe i- kisheria. Kama itakuwa ni partnership au ni limited company, lakini cha msingi ni kwamba ni watu wamekuja pamoja ili waweze kufanya uwekezaji. Na huu uwekezaji wanaufanya kwenye nini? Ni kwamba au wanaufanya vipi? Ni kwamba wanaleta pesa kiwango walichokubaliana unaelewa eh? kama ni milioni kumi na wako members watano ina maana watakuwa na milioni ya msini. alafu ile milioni ya msini ndio inakwenda kufanywa uwekezaji either itanunua hisa za kampuni fulani au wanaweza kuamua wakaitia kwenye mfuko mwingine wowote wa uwekezaji kama mtitiwa na mifuko mingi na kuna baadhi ya mifuko iko yani inapendeza ikifanywa uwekezaji pia wa vikundi inakubali na hata nature ya uwekezaji wake inapendeza kufanywa uwekezaji wa kikundi au pia inawezekana hata wakachenga fedha zaidi alafu wakaamua kuventure kwenye real estate wakaamua labda wao kazi yao watakuwa wanajenga nyumba na kupangisha ama watajenga jengo moja kubwa la maofisi wakakodisha kama ni frames kama ni ofisi first floor huko mafloor ya juu yakawa ni maofisi chini zikawa ni frames ama inawezekana ni apartment wakajenga apartment moja ya kuishi and then payback period ikafika apartment ile ya kwanza ikarudisha wakaeketa tena wakajenga ya pili it all depends na wamekubalianaje walikuja pamoja kwa lengo gani kwa sababu lazima walikuwa na common understanding walikuwa na common financial goal iliyowaleta pamoja kwa hiyo basically hiyo ndio investment club sawa eh hiyo ndio investment club ama tunasema uwekezaji wa vikundi ama uwekezaji wa pamoja inawezekana hapa kwetu hatujazipa either legal status inayo staili au pia hatujazi recognize sana hizi investment clubs sisi tupo zaidi kwenye circles tupo zaidi kwenye vikoba lakini hatuna hizi investment club nyingi ambazo ziko legally established zinafanya vizuri zimefanya investment A ikafanikiwa wakaenda wakafanya investment B ikafanikiwa wakafanya investment C ikafanikiwa inawezekana hatuna nyingi za hivyo lakini kwa sisi kama achieve tunataka tuelimishe kuhusu investment clubs ili muende mkazianzishe popote mlipo if you have your 10 15 friends ambao mnajua kwa sababu na kipato it's good to pull that money together ili iwe nyingi and then muende mkaifanyie uwekezaji. Sawa? Kwa hiyo swali la kwanza nililoulizwa niliulizwa kuhusu advantages na disadvantages za investment clubs ama in group investment. Na advantage ya kwanza nilioambia kwa sababu nilitakiwa niseme advantage and disadvantages. Kwa hiyo advantage ya kwanza nilioambia ni ile kuwa na fedha nyingi pooled funds kwa sababu tumekuja watu wengi. Unaona eh? Kila mmoja amekuja kama tumeambiana kila mmoja aje na milioni kumi. Tupo watano tumepata milioni ya msini. Tupo kumi tumepata milioni mia. Sawa eh? Kwa hiyo kama ningeenda kuwekeza as an individual ningekuwa tu na milioni kumi yangu moja. Lakini because we are coming together na tuko kumi, kila mmoja kaja na milioni kumi, now we have a hundred million. Kwa hiyo investment clubs ama uwekezaji wa vikundi unafanya mnakuwa na a lot of money because you pull your resources together. 
sawa kwa advantage moja compared sisi kwa tunafanya advantage tuko tunaangalia advantage za investment clubs against individual investment kwa hiyo advance advantage moja hapo ndio tumesema kwamba unakuwa una fedha nyingi opposed to us when you are an individual i will only have 10 million but now because we are 10 of us with 10 million each now we have 100 million kwa hiyo advantage hiyo kubwa ni kwamba tunakuwa tuna more resources to invest than when i'm an individual na kuwa na a less resource to invest advantage ya pili ni tunakuwa tuna combined knowledge and experience kumbuka nikija mimi kama amina na kuja na knowledge ya accounting and finance lakini na ninapona kufanya uwekezaji wangu mimi kama individual i just have the accounting and finance part of it lakini when we come the ten of us pengine ndani yuko tuna mwanasheria na ni mwanasheria leo soma commercial law unaona jinsi inavyokuwa tamwe kwa hiyo kwenye umoja wetu mimi nipo kwa ajili ya guide financial and, and accounting in accounting way Then mwanze tukasoma commercial law. Unaona sasa? Because this entity we want to make it a legal one. And then ndani ya group tuna mtu amesoma commercial law. So, so all the legal matters of this investment club of ours will be taken care of by nani? By one of us. Ambaye tayari ana commercial law huko. Huko lakini ndani pengine kuna mtu ambaye ni marketing na nini na nini. Kwa hiyo anajua hata tukija kujenga apartments kutafuta wateja. It's not an issue. Tuna a guy here who is very good in marketing. Kwa hiyo what I'm trying to say is when we come together as an investment club we bring in not only the money part of it but we bring the experience part of it we bring the knowledge part of it we bring the talent part of it so kwenye basket yetu hatutakuwa tuna 100 million tutakuwa tuna experience za watu wengi tutakuwa tuna knowledge za watu wengi tutakuwa tuna utashi wa watu wengi tutakuwa tuna technical know how za watu wengi unaelewa eh kwa hiyo as opposed to an individual hapa tunakuwa tuna pooled knowledge and uh, experience za watu wengi hiyo ni advantage ya pili ya hizi investment clubs and then advantage ya tatu tuna share risk na kumbuka kati tunasoma soma huko kama kuna mtu kusoma business education lazima kwenye kusoma partnership tunajua advantage ni nini ni shared risk au losses kwa hiyo tunapoenda kufanya uwekezaji wa pamoja ikitokea tume make loss ikitokea tumepoteza kwa namna yoyote ile na kuwa sijapoteza only me hiyo 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 loss tunakuwa tuna divide tuna share tunagawana the loss between the ten of us as against when i was supposed to bear the loss only myself kama individual and hapo nitakuwa nimefanya uwekezaji binafsi pasipokuwa nimefanya uwekezaji wa nini wa kikundi and then kingine ni bigger profits tunaona hapa kwamba tunakuwa tuna a lot of money ya kuinvest kama ni shares and we are ten of us tume contribute kila mtu milioni kumi we have a hundred million Uh, kwa hiyo hizi milioni mia tunaenda kununua shares unaona eh so share ambazo um, dividend ita, ita, ambayo italipwa kwenye shares za milioni mia ni tofauti na mtu ambaye atalipwa dividend kwa, kwa, kwa shares za milioni kumi kwa hiyo huku kuna um, you will earn more profit japokuwa of course the profit will come big and then you will divide among the members but still itakuwa kubwa because from the source mlipata kubwa. Kwa nini? Mlifanya uwekezaji wa milioni mia. Na mimi wa milioni kumi nitapata kidogo. Kwa hiyo kuna bigger profits to be earned kutokana na uwekezaji mkubwa wa watu wengi. And then uh, advantage nyingine ambayo itakuwa ni ya nne ni uta network na watu ambao mnafanana. Tunasema like-minded people kwa sababu kumbuka paka mnakuja pamoja ina maana kila mtu alikuwa na kiu ya uwekezaji kwa namna yake ndio maana wote mkafikiria kitu kitu hicho na mkakubaliana you had a common understanding because that means you you get to network with people of the same interest people of the same um Uh, need they all want to be investors people of like minded great minds kwa hiyo unakuta una connect na watu ambao watakupush unakumbuka wale msemo unaosema show me your friends and i'll tell you where your life will be in 10 years eh? in 5 years okay show me your friends and then i'll tell you who you are kwa hiyo when you network with people of the same of the same interest of the same uh, uh, like minded you all like big things you all have big dreams of course you will be motivated to do even more you will be motivated to be better because those sur- surrounding you are also people who want you to do better sawa eh? and then advantage nyingine uh, tumesema pia unapata opportunity sasa ya ku, ya kufurahi kwa sababu 
at the end of the day is investment clubs eh wao wanaamua kuja pamoja kama wataamua kufanya charity giving back to the society wataamua kwenda kutembelea dawodi za watoto au pale Ocean Road wagonjwa wa kansa lakini wao wakaamua okay at the end of 2023 to in Zanzibar let's go to Zanzibar and enjoy life you know au wao wakaamua let's go to Bali <laughs> let's go to Dubai habib let's go to Dubai unaona watu wakakubaliana wakaenda Dubai from that investment part of it kwamba now i have people pengine mwisho wa mwaka tunagawana our profit and then from there wana withhold some certain amount alafu mnakubaliana kwenda somewhere to have fun to enjoy maisha ni mafupi lazima tuishi kwa hiyo pia investment club gives you people you can hang out with have fun enjoy your money as you enjoy your investment na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo hiyo ni this ni, ni ad advantages hizo ni faida za uwekezaji wa pamoja lakini disadvantages sio nyingi lakini zipo hakuna kizuri kisichokuwa na kasoro you know that saying eh kwa hiyo moja disadvantages you are coming 10 people of you sawa eh mnavyokuja watu watu kumi, it's not easy all the time to agree huyu ana wazo lake huyu anaona hivi huyu anasema hivi huyu anawaza hivi kwa hiyo dealing with people sometimes can be tricky Mimi nikaamka tu leo kama just an individual investor nikaingia benki nikafanya utaji wangu nikaenda UTT nikagawa nyingine nikapeleka sijui nikanua hisa nikaenda Dar es Salaam stock exchange nikanua hisa lakini as a group you must talk you must agree some will disagree some will say this some will say that lakini hiyo tu ndio disadvantage yani unakuwa hamkubaliani kwa haraka but pia as a group you must agree to disagree ili mwisho wa siku mambo yafanya nini yaweze kwenda so ile people handle, handle handling of people people management it sometimes is not so easy then the disadvantage but it depends this can be an advantage ama disadvantage kuna shared profit kwa sababu ungetamani when the profit comes eh, ya milioni 100 yani wakati dividend za share za milioni 100 zinapokuja unatamani kama ziwe zako peke yako eh? usikumbatie zote mwenyewe but now when the profit come mnatakiwa mgawane kwa hiyo ile sharing part of the profit sometimes it so, watu wengi wangeza kutamani kama iwe ya kwao peke yao and maybe it could sound like a, a disadvantage lakini practically to me i think it's not kwa sababu at the end of the day you are getting your share na, na wakati unakuja kufanya huu uwekezaji unajua kabisa kama ni uwekezaji wa kikundi so profits mta share losses mtafanya nini mta share so basically advantage pia nyingine ni kwamba ile if you are not uh, legally formed eh, and then maybe you don't have a constitution or anything inawezekana kwa kuna watu wengine wanataka kujitoa labda mmeamua kufanya uwekezaji wa miaka mitano along the way mwaka mmoja umeisha mtu anataka kujitoa kwa unakuta kuna kule kuvuruga mpango wa uwekezaji wa kikundi just because kuna wanataka kutoka na vitu kama hivyo but again if you properly form your investment club legally establish it have your own constitution mwe na utaratibu mta avoid a lot of these disadvantages na mtakuwa pale kwa ajili ya kuenjoy uwekezaji so basically hiyo ndo advantage and disadvantage za investment clubs ambazo tunasema ni uwekezaji wa pamoja thank you so much kwa kunisikiliza i hope umeelewa kitu i hope pia umeanza kufikiria baadhi ya friends wako ili ukawatafute kesho na kesho kuto uwape hiyo idea na very fast kama mtaweza mfanye muanzishe an investment club sawa Asante. Bye.